Hello and welcome back to this uh, playlist, the calculation of rigid connection, uh, modeling the rigid connection and also analyzing with different methods of uh, bolt modelings in ANSYS software. We went through two methods, rigid joints and also joints with a stiffness. Now in this video, I'm going to model with the uh, springs in a way that the springs are only taking the tension force. This is what we had earlier and now I can duplicate the latest one and I can change the name that uh, joints shear stiffness and springs or tension springs. If we go to our model, show all bodies, uh, what we had last time, we have these beams with the shear and longitudinal stiffness. Here I'm going to release these, not taking any load. So it's uh, it should be in a way that when you select all of these and set one of them to be zero, all others are taken to be zero. But here, if you look at it, it is not, so we have to do it manually. Not a big deal. And here as well. Good. And top as well, zero, 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 and zero. Now I'm going to model with S spring. So here in S spring, you need to select again the mobile part, which here will be the end plate. Also the reference or the target. It's important we had this uh, earlier in the other video for T-stop uh, to set the uh, length of the bolt or for example here S-spring as a reasonable value. We will fix it later. And here the stiffness we calculated in the uh, with MATCAT sheet and it was 1.143 e6 newton per millimeter but here if you set it in this way and you use both and you continue you will receive almost the same results as we had earlier here we need to change the spring behavior and by default you see that it cannot be changed it is completely gray and you cannot change it to change it you need to go to workbench and here tools select options appearance come to this point and then select beta option and now if you come back here you can see that now your uh, spring behavior can be changed from both to compression only or tension only so here we are going to have tension only and then we use automation with object generator from reference to mobile with the margin of 50 millimeter and here you can see these six the only thing that we need to adjust is the length of this spring so if we look at here the scope is 140.5 millimeter but it should be 9.5 millimeter less as a result, it will be 131 and also it should go through five millimeter more in each side, considering the half of head and half of knot, for example, here. So it will be 126. And the other part is 166, which is here. I add also five millimeter to here. It will be 171. Now we have correct length of the a string the first six i will put in one group top a spring and here i 
I put the rest in another one button a spring and we are done here we can just run the model to check the results again as far as it's a linear modeling it shouldn't take a long time here also you can follow the percentage it's 85 percent now we have the results uh, contact tool here we can see that almost the same moment reaction 44.6 and the rotation 0 0.15 now if we look at the joints we do not have any force in zeta direction because it's completely now free 25.3 25.3 we can write these for in our excel now we have uh, shear stiffness joints and a spring or tensile spring so in this case uh, this value is 25 plus 25 50 kilonewton or 50.6 exactly the same then the other two minus 3.3 minus 3.3 7 3 6.7 the last two 3 and 3 6 Again, the summary is almost 50 kilonewton, 49.9. And for the tension, now they are not here because they are in the S springs. So we just need to drag these bars and put them here, evaluate results. And here we can see 80 kilonewton. 80 kilonewton 160 not that much difference 76 point 676 153 or 4 almost the same and here you can see that it's zero nothing as far as they are only in tension and if we go with the bending moment 44.6 and the rotation is 1 5 1 so pretty the same that's the other method of modeling the bolts that can be used and here you can see that the bolts are not taking any tension force here you can see that the bolts are not able to take any compression uh, but still the loads are pretty the same that's the end of this video we went through the uh, another method of joint modeling with uh, springs and we calculated the results we put them in the excel sheet at the end uh, we will compare the results also with our hand calculation in the next video i will go through the bolt modeling the one that we use also for t stuff and we will also write those answers and results for our comparison table and that's all thank you for watching see you next time bye